See, Hacks of Banifitch was deemed not good enough by Brendan Rodgers, not the Celtic board. And today, here on Fog Football, we're going to bring you his response to the Celtic boss's comments and decision to get rid of the guy. Was he good enough? We're going to look at the stats, all right? Of course, he's joined Malmo. Nothing can be done, all right? It's all over for Seed in Glasgow. But let's uh, plant those seeds of doubt in Brendan Rodgers' dome, shall we? As we look at his stats. But do we look at stats first or do we look at the comments? that Seed Haksabanovic said. I think we'll look at his stats first, all right? So, of course, the guy had a pretty much stop-start career ever since, you know, he's ever broke onto the scene. He, he joined West Ham, didn't play one single game for West Ham, loans out, including Malaga, uh, Judge Gordon. Um, I, I, well, actually, I say he didn't play one game for um, West Ham. He did play in the Cups, right? He played two games, so... Again, if you're not playing in the actual Premier League, does it really matter if you're starting in the, the St. Johnston's Paint Trophy Cup, whatever, even though it was the FA Cup and the League Cup. But anyway, right, let's let's not bury the guy too much. Right, but then he joined Celtic. Um, you know, a lot of hype. Oh, they're signing this guy for, you know, West Ham. He play, used to play for West Ham. Well, let's see, shall we? So 40 games in his first season in the 2022-23 season. And that was, of course, 40 games with a return of five goals. Is that any good? Is that brilliant? I'm going to go out and say no. Is it the worst return? No. Is it like Scott Wright levels? Yes, that's what it is. And it's not just his actual goal contributions, right? Most time you watch Celtic, the guy wasn't really doing anything. I, I remember the game against Rangers um, in the semi-final, I believe, semi-final, final, shite, jobby, whatever. Rangers lost both of them. Um, where Celtic were 2-1 up. Or was it 1-0? And... He missed about three, four good to clear cut opportunities to put the game to bed. The guy's just not all that good of a footballer. And you can clearly see that Brendan Rodgers favours somebody like James Forrest, who has bagged crucial goal after crucial goal for Celtic. And he's a Celtic legend. Haxabanovic is just some guy. To quote Lee Everett from the Walking Dead game, he's just some guy. But for this season, how many games did he play for Celtic? Well, he played one in the Premiership and then one in the um, the League Cup. So not exactly a star-studded appearances across the board here for Seed Haxabanovic. But he did, of course, go out on loan to Stoke City where he played 19 games, a couple of games in the Cup, but he got one goal and 21 appearances. It's absolutely the correct decision to... Um, get rid of this guy and this is what he said in an interview with football is it's obviously some swedish um news paper he said and i quote yes mostly it was down to him rogers because the board wanted me to stay they believed in me but he had other plans football wise i don't think malmo and celtic are far apart malmo and sweden are like is like real madrid in spain right and the quote i mean that's uh I mean, I, I half see where he's coming from, but damn, he's definitely going on a wild one there. He's trying to almost blame Brendan Rodgers for what's happened here, but at the end of the day, the guy, you can't blame Rodgers for getting rid of him. Obviously, Rodgers has seen something in training. I'm not saying the hacks are bad. I think, I mean, I think you look at the guy and there's no reason why he couldn't have got more appearances last season, right? But obviously, Rodgers was seeing something in training. And you, you, you thought the exact same thing with... um. You know, Lager Bielka and the Rocky. It's like you've brought these guys in for millions and they're barely getting a kick. It kind of made no sense, but it had to be down to something to trade. And as for Haxabanovich, I'm not going to sit here and defend the guy too much. I'm not going to claim that I would shit my pants every time the guy touches the ball like some people here on the Y tube. But uh, yeah, the guy is at best a squad player. That's what he was for one season at Celtic and the season after that. He barely, barely kicked the ball. He went to Stoke and didn't exactly do anything. It was kind of one of those ones where if he went to Stoke and he delivered, he probably would have been given another season at Celtic to, to actually do something. But maybe if Rodgers always knew he didn't want him, maybe it didn't really matter what he did at Stoke. It's kind of like Lammers. Like, Lammers went to Holland and it was always going to be a case of, well, you know what, Rangers will want, want ready him anyway. But the season that Lammers had in the last six months does put that in the back of your mind of it could we keep him Haxabanovic did not do that guys and that's where we're going to leave this video here Brendan Rogers. I'm going to agree with Big Brenda I think he was right on the money about Haxabanovic